Fix error 0x8007052, a required privilege is not held by the client. In Windows. Solution 1, try enabling the share this folder option on your system root drive. Additionally, make sure everyone is listed under group or username section and, check full control. For more information, you may refer to, 1, https slash slash gu.gl slash y3bms4. Set, view, change, or remove permissions on files and folders and 2, https slash slash gu.gl slash 5utpj2. Resolving access denied errors if the issue still persists, you need to disable you. completely with misconfig. For power users, head to hkey underscore local underscore machine backslash software backslash wow 6432 node backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash current version backslash policies backslash system, find enable luad word and, change enable us value to zero and click ok. Reboot your PC. Note, you may need to enable uac by changing the value of enable ula to one once again. If the above did not help, follow plan b. Disclaimer. Important this section, method, or task contains steps that tell you how to modify the registry. However, serious problems might occur if you modify the registry incorrectly. Therefore, make sure that you follow these steps carefully. For added protection, back up the registry before you modify it. Then, you can restore the registry if a problem occurs. Open registry editor. Head to hkey underscore local underscore machine backslash software backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash current version backslash policies backslash system. Look into the system key. Locate a dword, rig underscore dword, named enable lua. Set the value data as zero. If, you got another problem Microsoft Edge cannot open. Try resetting Edge, disclaimer, resetting the Microsoft Edge will remove your bookmarks and history. This action feature might reset security settings or privacy settings that you added to the list of trusted sites. The reset Edge settings feature might also reset parental control settings. We recommend that you note these sites before you perform this step. Resetting Edge isn't reversible, and all previous settings are deleted. A. Navigate to the below location C colon backslash users backslash percent sign USERNAME percent sign backslash app data backslash local backslash packages backslash MICROSOFT dot MICROSOFT EDGE underscore 8 WEKYB 3D 8 BBWE. Note, if you didn't find backslash app data backslash local backslash packages backslash Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge underscore 8 WEKYB 3D 8 BBWE, you create a new local administrator account.
Delete everything in this folder. C. Type Windows PowerShell in search box. D. Right click on Windows PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. E. Copy and paste the following command. Get apps package all users name Microsoft. Microsoft Edge for each add apps package disable development mode register dollar dollar underscore dot install location backslash apps manifest dot xml verbose other voices on the web one. To install some third-party program, you may right-click on the setup file and scroll down to select from a trusted source. Refer to the below image. Plan B, run your installed program as the administrator. 2. To copy some file on your computer, run and open command prompt as the admin user and, type copy d colon backslash example dot filehrec colon backslash. Hint, example dot file here is the name of the exact file name you want to copy. 3. If you are using... Antivirus software, remove such an item using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. 4. Disable the admin approval. MSC. Press enter head to security settings local policies security options locate and disable user account control, admin approval mode for the bill in administrator account. Reboot your PC later. Five. Take ownership of the root drive. Six. If you've already enabled. the hidden administrator account, by running the following command net user administrator slash active yes as the admin user, you can switch to that account temporarily or, create a new admin ID on your computer. Last but not least, if you are using a company provided device, please ask your system administrator for the privilege to use the service.